Hi, this is Tom Campbell, the Dean of Chapman Law School, with a report on the last semester here and the last year here at Chapman Law. We had a sad semester with the passing of our professor, Catherine Darmer, and our student, Dan Otteson. And we miss them both deeply, and uh, we send our continued sympathy to their families. The school had some very happy news, though, too. Uh, perhaps the best thing to start with is the great infusion of support for the Family Violence Clinic. Uh, Betty and Wiley Aitken, two of the most generous contributors to Chapman University, um, made a huge difference by contributing to the Family Violence Clinic and allowing it to continue its wonderful service uh, to those needy in our society uh, with Chapman law professors and Chapman students uh, providing assistance to a group that uh, very much is in need of help. Uh, in addition to the Aitken's gift, the Wells Fargo Foundation uh, was a huge contributor. Bookhalter and Niemer, a law firm, was a huge uh, contributor in uh, the Family Violence Clinic. Um, and also the Orange County uh, Community Foundation directed donor program um, made a big difference. The Law Review Symposium this year marked the 40th anniversary of Watergate. Um, it's a hugely important issue in the development of jurisprudence, separation of powers, the rule that no one is above the law in America, um, and a uh, stellar panel of professors and experts, and including some who had lived through Watergate, including John Dean, uh, took part. And uh, we got some very favorable press for that from the Los Angeles Times uh, and, uh, and from C-SPAN uh, as well. The student organization for the public interest, the Public Interest Law Foundation, uh, had its best year ever. Uh, they were able to raise $5,000 more than they ever did before. They had a gala dinner for the first time at a hotel, the Doubletree Hotel, and we honored uh, uh, Justice Feibel as the first winner of the Public Interest Law Foundation Award of Chapman Law School. Uh, so it was a, a very successful uh, commitment by the students to supporting other students who were doing public interest law. One of our students, uh, Rebecca Kipper, was about to graduate, but this last semester uh, her unit was of the California Army Na National Guard was activated, and so she uh, went over to serve in Kuwait. Uh, we did a, a shout out to her at graduation that was uh, picked up by headline news and brought a lot of attention, and uh, a, a, a very sincere expression of our sentiment of pride and best wishes uh, for Lieutenant uh, Rebecca Kipper uh, at the same time. And we have some very good news. The Law School Admissions Council uh, selected the top 10 law schools throughout the country, and Chapman was among them, for the Diversity Matters Award. Uh, this award is made for schools who make a special effort for outreach for underrepresented minorities, and we're very proud of Chapman's achievement. And Chapman Law students working in the film clinic uh, received film credit for their work in two films, Dead Man's Burden, which was actually entered into the 2012 Los Angeles Film Festival, uh, and a second film for which they received credit as well was Mamitas. Another group of our students uh, went overseas uh, and helped participate in making documentary in Mozambique, uh, the law students going along with film students as part of a Chapman Film Abroad program uh, for the summer. Uh, another one of our students was selected by the Open Society Initiative as a judicial fellow uh, to go to Phnom Penh uh, to work with the United Nations investigatory panel on human rights abuses during the time of the Khmer Rouge. This is the fifth year in a row that a uh, Chapman student has been selected uh, to work with the Open Society Justice Initiative in Phnom Penh. So it's a real tribute to our students, uh, to Professor John Hall, who uh, provides the coordinate services and actually went over there uh, as well uh, in this important work. We had a number of great successes by our students becoming partners at firms and achieving great uh, things within the profession. And um, there's one that I'll just mention, uh, Courtney Lewis, who became the Associate uh, General Counsel of the Phoenix Suns. Uh, she had previously been uh, legal counsel for the uh, Phoenix uh, Coyotes, the NHL franchise. And all of this started because she had accepted a uh, uh, pro bono uh, volunteered position uh, with the Angels. Uh, it's an example of how Chapman students will take opportunities and run with them. And in this case, it led to uh, a very happy situation with one of our students reaching the very top of general counsel management uh, at, the, uh, at the Phoenix Suns. Our faculty achieved a great deal uh, as well this year. Uh, one of our happiest developments is that we are bringing on a full-time librarian for the first time in several years. 
Uh, Professor Kawaguchi will be joining us uh, after many years, 20 years, in library science and law uh, with uh, teaching experience at uh, Berkeley, at the University of Washington, uh, and uh, Gonzaga University. Professor Michael Basler received a special significant award from the editors of the National Law Journal. Every week they select an appellate lawyer of the week and Professor Basler was chosen during one of the weeks in spring semester as the appellate lawyer of the week uh, throughout the United States. Uh, his work particularly was singled out in restitution for families who had been deprived of property during the Holocaust. A tremendous achievement by Professor Michael Basler. Professor Mario Monero was honored by Barbary uh, to be the designated professor for federal evidence and California evidence. This is a tremendous honor they choose from professors around the country and uh, students from around the country uh, will know of Chapman University Law School because Professor Monero will be teaching uh, that, uh, that class to all of the students preparing for the bar. Professor uh, Marissa Chancharulo received tenure this year. We're very proud of her. She had been the teacher of the year last year and uh, this year's teacher of the year is our own Frank Doty. We're very proud of Frank. He has given so much to our school over many years, and it was delightful that the students chose him. This year, uh, we've decided to name, the students decided to name the Teacher of the Year, the Catherine Darmer Teacher of the Year, in honor of Professor Darmer, and the best teacher will be given the award in Catherine Darmer's honor in all the years uh, to come. So it's been a very big, busy, exciting year with some sadness, but an awful lot of happiness as well and a basis for success on which we'll build in the coming year. All the best from all of us here at Chapman Law School. For more information, visit our website at chapman.edu forward slash law.